Okay, this is the making of a spoon ring, JFK spoon ring that I had in my collection for a while. Just didn't know when I was going to make it into a ring, but this is the perfect time. So you see, this is um, silver plated. Um, I use these bolt cutters here. Nice clean cut. I'm going to save this for another project, but I'm going to use this part of the spoon. But the first thing I have to do is smooth out that um, that cut edge. So I use 100 grit sandpaper. If I had a sander, I would use that. But this right here works fine. You want to make sure that you smooth out all of the corners to make sure that there's no cut edge that's too sharp. This part of the ring will go in the inside of the band. So once I smooth it out, uh, making sure that it's um, not sharp. I then use another grit of sandpaper. And you see that right beside me. Anything from a 1,000 or 1,500 grit. So I make sure I smooth that out a little bit. And this tool um, was created just to make spoon rings. Um, you attach it to your one-ton press. I'll leave the description and also where to find this tool inside the description below. So right now I'm tightening it on my one ton press, making sure that nothing is loose because I'm going to do a lot of pressing of that spoon ring. So once I take that, it's nice and tight. The next step is to anneal the spoon. I want to make sure that it's nice and um, soft before I start working on it. So there we go there. And once you do that, to make sure that's a nail completely, um, takes a couple seconds. You wanna make sure that you quench it in some cold water. So that's what I'm about to do now. It's a pretty easy process to make this ring. Some people still use a manual hammer. Um, thank goodness they made this attachment to the one ton press, it makes it a lot easier for me. So now that is annealed, wipe it off a little bit. Now I go right to using this um, a creation, like a Delrin um, block that allows you to bend the smaller portion of the spoon ring. You see me start at the low end, go into the middle, and I start to round it out. Now you can do a couple of designs. You can do a wrap around, but what I'm doing now is I'm going to put the cut edge inside the band. This allows me to stretch it if I'm selling it to another person who wears a size 10. I still have room for a bigger ring and also a smaller ring. So what you wanna do is continue to turn it and make it round. As you see, the shape is kinda of off. You wanna to continue to make it as, um, ring shape as possible and once you do that you got another step and sometimes it goes the wrong direction so you have to continue to reshape and that's what I did at that present time so right there I'm pressing it making sure that cut edge is within the band and then the next step um, I will go on shaping it a little further just keep on going closer and closer until you get to your desired size and right there, that's the fit that I wanted. The inside um, cut edge is inside the band. And now I'm going to go on to continue to shape it by taking um, a Delrin mallet and just lightly tapping it around the mandrel. And this is going to allow me to kind of bring more of a round shape to the ring. And just light taps. You don't want to scar the um, spoon ring at all. Nice and light. It's a couple taps for you to you think that it's okay. The, the, the shape is round enough for you. And I always like to fit the ring on my fingers to see how it feels, make sure it's not sharp. But I really want to make sure that it's rounded. There you go. I like that shape all the way around. There's not many gaps really close to that mandrel. But like I said, once again, I can also resize it at any time. And there you go, right on my pinky. A nice JFK um, spoon ring. 
So the next step is to knock off all any fire scale. I take um, my wool and take any fire scale off, not scratching it. It's a mild, a mild um, rub going the inside band. And I would also sand that area as well. But for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you how I'm cleaning off the scale. The next step is to buff it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this here. You see a JFK um, half dollar. That's a silver half dollar, 90%. And I'm, I will be doing that as a ring real soon as well. If you would like one of these rings, please don't hesitate to go to my website, jtcornrings.com, and I can make you one. All right, so the next step is to polish it. So I'm going to use this 1,000 to 1,500 grit, sometimes 3,000 grit, just to kind of buff it up a little bit. I can use a cloth, but right now I'm using this um, just for the sake of the video, just kind of giving a little matte shine. And there we have it. We have a JFK spoon ring fit fit it for my pinky there we go nice and smooth guys thank you so much for joining me on my um my spoon ring video with all the steps if you have any questions please make sure you leave a comment below like comment and share i'll see you next video